This isn't a good look. No one likes it when their leftovers start to look like a horror movie. There's no better reason to toss this food out than when it's covered in mold. But hold on, I have to explain why it's okay to keep some foods in spite of its moldy grossness. Mama, this ham has mold. It's true, some molds can make you sick, but others are actually beneficial to your food. Let's look at mold on a cured ham. Yum. That's a completely natural characteristic to a country ham. The U.S. Department of Agriculture tells us that the curing and drying process allows harmless mold to appear on the ham's surface. You just don't want to leave it there. Wash it off with hot water using a stiff vegetable brush. The same goes for hard salami. Just wash away the mold. In this case, it's white. Sometimes you'll see small moldy spots on hard fruits and vegetables like carrots and bell peppers. It's hard for the mold to penetrate the hard surfaces, so just cut the spots away using a knife at least an inch around and below the mold spots. If you see mold on soft fruits and vegetables like peaches and tomatoes, then toss them out. Now, how about cheese? Some of it's made with mold and that's part of the manufacturing process, and if so, that's okay. Mold on the surface of hard cheeses can be cut away. Mold on soft cheese that's not part of the manufacturing process, that's not good. Toss it out. So, there's plenty of times when mold means a trip to the trash, but not always. You know, in my house, sometimes I like blue cheese, and everybody gets offended. They start calling it stinky cheese and get it out of here. I can't do anything about the stink. I'm just on the mold story today. So, if you have a Why Guy question, reach me at my Facebook page, Walt Gray News. And you can watch more Why Guys stories at abc10.com slash whyguy.